Preparation. The first thing and most important is to get a deck handout package from the Pikes Peak Regional Building Department website. I've highlighted the web address. The package has everything you need to know to get started, such as type of nails, screws, hardware, lumber, stair and footing requirements. Review it thoroughly. After reviewing the package, draw the deck structural framing plan and an overview plan and update the parcel map with the location and dimensions of the deck. Put together a materials list and itemize your questions you may have for the Regional Building Department. This is the deck structural framing plan. It is one quarter inch to scale. The colored arrows are requirements made by the construction representative at the building department. On the upper right hand side is the dark blue arrow. It identifies, I need three bolts through the ledger every 16 inches. The light blue arrow in the center identifies the joist sizes as having to be two by tens positioned every 16 inches off center. The white arrows identify my end joists as having to be two by tens nailed together, creating a beam. Farther down are the footings, the green and orange arrows. The end footings have to be eight inches in diameter. The center footings have to be 14 inches in diameter. All five footings have to be two and a half feet deep. The yellow arrow identifies the cross beam size as having to be two two by eights nailed together. The red arrow on the left bottom identifies the construction representative's release for permit stamp. The representative has reviewed, identified changes in red, stamped and released the plan for permitting. This is the deck overview plan. It shows the location of the deck in relationship to the house. The construction representative did not give this a whole lot of attention. He was more interested in the deck structural framing plan on the previous slide. 